Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, so for today's video, I thought what I might do is just a little get to know me type of thing, like the 50 questions about me, but just with like a little spin on it. So what I'm going to do is put a timer on my iPad for like 10 minutes and just answer as many questions um, as I can. I found this website called tagquestions.net and it's literally got like 300 questions to answer. Obviously we ain't gonna get through all of those, but I thought it would be nice just for you guys just to get to know me a bit better. Because I realise like as long as I've had this channel, I've never done anything like this. Um, and I know everybody does it and I thought I'd give it a try. Let me just say that I wasn't feeling like, I just didn't wanna do a video today. I'm just not feeling my hair, my makeup, myself just feeling a little shit today but i thought let's just let's just do it and power through let's get started so you can get to know me a bit more so i'm gonna set my timer good reflection i'm gonna set my timer for 10 minutes and then just answer as many questions as i can some of them i've looked through them and some of them are just stupid um so i'm probably just gonna skip them out I'll try and answer as many questions as I can, okay? So let's start and let's read some out. What is your full name? My full name is Caroline Rachel Mary Davies. Are you named after anyone? Yes, Caroline is named after the little girl in the movie Poltergeist. My mum was obsessed with horror movies. Thanks, Sharon. No, actually, I do really like my name, so... Um, I don't mind Caroline. Rachel Mary um, are both my great grandmas or something like that. Um, and Davies is my dad's side of the family. Um, where are you from? I am from Middlesbrough in Teesside in the northeast, UTB. Uh, where did you grow up? Middlesbrough. Um, what are your best characteristics? Hmm. Uh, probably not the best day for me to answer these type of questions when I'm just not feeling myself. But I would probably say my favourite characteristics about myself are my humour. Um, I think I'm quite a funny person. I don't know, it depends who you ask. Um, and maybe that's just, like, I'm a nice person, I guess. Um, I don't know. You tell me if anyone knows me. Um, which of your parents are you closest to? <laughs> None of them. Um, are your grandparents still married? I only have one grandma, Nana left. Um, but she was married to my granddad before he died. Oh, that was a bit of a morbid one, wasn't it? Is there any like upbeat one? Um, what is the most important thing in your life? Um, probably like a cliche one, like friends, family, boyfriend, health, all that good stuff. So far, who is your favorite actress? Um, who is my favourite actress? I think there's, I don't, I don't know. Um, actress, oh my God, that's so difficult. They're like, mm, I wish I never asked that question. <laughs> Who is my favourite actress? What are some movies that I like? Oh my gosh. Uh, maybe like Emma Stone. Jennifer Lawrence, Neve Campbell, uh, Jennifer Aniston, I don't know, one of those maybe. Um, what is your favourite holiday destination? Okay, so the best place that I've probably been so far is Vietnam, that was amazing. I would love to go back, uh, me and Matt talk about going back for like a honeymoon if we ever got married, but I'm sure we'd probably go back at some point anyway. What is your favourite snack? All day long, chocolate, um, any type of chocolate, not dark chocolate though. Not a huge fan, um, but like Cadbury's buttons or something like that, like literally, oh, or the snowballs with the like marshmallows and coconut, oh my God, or ice cream, oh, I have too many, I just love food too much. Um, what is your favourite way to pass the time? At the moment, my favourite way to pass the time is probably just scrolling TikTok um, and having to force myself off it because I've been on it too long. Uh, yeah, I'm literally obsessed at the moment. 
what is your favorite social media channel um i would either say probably youtube or tiktok at the moment again just for the content i've probably laughed so much on tiktok in the past couple of days i don't know how people come up with these ideas but like they're just hilarious uh what was your favorite subject in high school um probably drama or english I would say maybe maybe one of those two yeah are you scared of heights absolutely petrified hate them hate being in those type of situations yeah you will not catch me doing a bungee jump anytime soon are you high maintenance um if you ask martin i'm sure you probably would say yes um but that's just a typical boy um personally no i think i'm very easy to please I don't need a lot of things from somebody, just like like your time, attention. Um, yeah, and I guess that's kind of it really. I think I'm quite easy, easy going in like in a relationship type of sense anyway. Um, bam, 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 scroll down. What's the weirdest thing you've seen in your life? I honestly cannot say, can I say it on YouTube? Okay, so I remember, walking down the street when I was a kid and there was a man coming towards me and he just had his um Willie Willie out um just walking down the street casually very inappropriate and as a 14 maybe younger year old I was like what like what did I just see so that was probably the weirdest thing I've seen in my life um, that I can remember anyway. Who was the first person you call when something exciting happens? Um, I would probably say Martin if it's me personally or if it's to, if it, I don't know if it was to do with me and Martin or like as a couple thing. Um, probably my friend Mel, I would say. Um, probably my family if it was like we were getting engaged or something but I don't know maybe it was just like gossip or something it probably probably be Mel because she's a bit of a gossip just like me do you sleep with the lights on or off I sleep with the lights off I remember I slept with the lights on when I was a kid and mum was shouting at me telling me that she's sick of coming in my room and turning the lights off and the tv but that's because I think I was kind of scared of the dark I don't know um do you have a whole lot of acquaintances or just a few very close friends and why i have just a cluster of friends i honestly don't have that many friends but the friends i do have um are like friends like i know that they'll be friends forever and lifelong friends um are, do i have friends that i've had in the past that i would like to reconnect with yeah um yeah i guess so but the friends that I've got now, I much prefer having like a small group rather than like a group of like 10 or 20. Um, so if I get married, it's probably going to be a cheap wedding. Oh, not me anymore. Who sent the last text message you received? Probably my sister, Lily Mae. I know this because she's not long just messaged me and I've ignored her at the moment because I was filming this video. But I will message you back after this, I promise. Um... What scares you about aging? Oh, I'm probably going in deep. Um, honestly, I actually think about this all the time. It scares me to, it sounds really like, um, what's the word? Like self-centered and um, I can't think of the word. I'm under pressure. Um, but like just my appearance changing over time. I know people say like it's a privilege to grow old, but honestly, I am like, I, like, I struggle with confidence at the moment, like, anyway so I don't view myself in the best light anyway and I just think like this is as good as it's going to get and it's going to go downhill from here so if this is as good as it's going to get then what the heck am I going to look like in 20, 30, 40 years time um, and also dying yeah that scares me about aging um, how old do you think you'll be when you get married honestly I haven't got a clue I thought when I was younger that I'd probably be like 25-ish but I think every girl kind of thinks that and it just doesn't work out um if I do get married, I'm not sure what age I'll be. Like, I guess just when it happens. I kind of want kids when I'm like 30. So potentially if it goes in that order, then before 30. 
So I've got three years, so I might best get a move on. Would you ever consider living abroad? Absolutely, I would love to live in a different country. I really hope I don't live in England for the rest of my life. Um, yeah, I would like to experience at least living in a different country, even if I don't like buy a house in a different country. I think we're running out of time. Have you read any of the Harry Potter Hunt games or Twilight series? Which is your favorite? Yes, I have read all of them. And probably Harry Potter was my favorite, although I have probably more memories of reading Twilight. Um, Team Edward, all the way, by the way. What is a strange occurrence you've experienced but have never or rarely shared with anyone? Uh, I'm just gonna skip that because I don't think I have time to answer. What is the scariest movie you've ever watched? Okay, it's called Dead Silence. It's got a lady in it called Mary Shaw. She's an absolute freak. Like, she's so scary. If my friend Danielle, if she ever watches this, she will um, clarify this because I was petrified. Uh, yeah, so I would say Dead Silence. It's on Netflix actually, so go watch it. Um, where would you want to retire to? I'm guessing that's like what country? Um, to be honest, I like the English countryside. I love living in the countryside area. So I probably would retire in England in the countryside somewhere. But like I said, I would like to experience living abroad. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Definitely a morning person. Um, I get so tired at like half past nine at night. I'm not a night owl at all. I, I can get up straight away when my alarm goes off. Oh. Speaking of alarms going off, we are out of time. Um, yeah, so that went really fast, actually. There's loads more questions on there that I could have, like, answered. I know some of them were a bit rubbish, but it's literally just what was on the screen. I just scrolled and tried to randomly pick one. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did and if you want me to do another one of these um, because there are so many more questions on here that I could answer. Um, so thank you for so much for watching this video. Um, yeah, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.